Alright, so just before I was upside down and I just mashed out some rips. This is the second therapy session I'm filming today. And when I was upside down, I was thinking, I better not be a bee, I need to go attack before. <laughs> You know what? I just clocked. It's a drone. It's a dro drone. Dro I can't pronounce my ass properly. Drone. That's what it is. That's what the fuck it was, man. I was thinking it was a bee. I was like, what? There's like a hundred bees here. Anyways, I'm getting attacked from everywhere. As I was saying, am I scared of the future? That's the question today. My therapy session. Am I scared of the future? Short answer now is no. Nowhere near as much because I'm more spiritual. I'm more what will be will be. As long as I say to everyone, as long as you're being a good person, you're working hard, you're trying to utilize your days and you're just keeping yourself to yourself, things will work out eventually. It just links to patience, right? <laughs> we want everything now, but we have to wait. Nat, Nat told me I'm a perfectionist and I agree, I agree. Because I was telling her about me, uh, therapy session free, overworking and getting anxiety. And she's like, yes, yeah, because you're a perfectionist. And it's true, you know. And I see it now, how I meticulously plan things on my employees' spreadsheets. I've got employees from all over the world and I, I'm like giving them so much detail so that they can understand the foundation. They can go off and do it by themselves and everything. But how I'm planning it is just to perfection. And I think that was always my biggest problem. I'm always trying to be a perfectionist, but being perfect don't exi exist, Kiri. So, for example, I could say I want to achieve do the do by within the end of 2023. Is that going to happen? Probably not, no matter how hard I work. I'm not going to achieve everything because it doesn't work like that. It links to submitting to the universe. You can only do so much every day without getting burnt out. And you just say, cool, breathe. I've achieved this, this today. Tomorrow is another day. We go again. That mentality alongside, as I said, what will be, will be. And just understanding that, that fate, that energy in the universe, God, whatever it will be, things will find you at the right time. You can't go, can't go chasing waterfalls. I was listening to that song the other day. You can't go making everything happen. You can't be controlling every single thing. You just have to let it go. I watched a video the other day. It essentially said, it was a really good psychological video and essentially said, you get what you want when you stop pursuing it so intensely. Does that make sense? You just say, cool, it's going to come to me whenever. And then most likely. So they, for example, they, the, the thing was a pink elephant, right? You probably might have seen the thumbnail, it's got millions of views, it's like a pink elephant and they say, I right, keep thinking about a pink elephant and try and remove the, the, a pink elephant in your head. And the more you think about removing it, you can't. But when I just breathe and I do whatever, now it's gone out of my head. Can you see? It's fucking crazy how it works and it just kind of links to, you do have to let things unfold. Are you trying your best every single day to? Yes, you are. That's, that's fantastic. And also being present as well, that's the biggest thing for me. I'm not gonna allow myself to panic so much about the future. Whether it be this podcast getting a certain number of growth. Yes, I'm gonna to continue to post regularly. Yes, I'm gonna get employees to help me. Yes, I'm gonna post there, post there, post there. Yes, I'm gonna see what works. Yes, I'm gonna try new things. But am I gonna force people to like me? Am I gonna force people to subscribe to me? No, because once they see my content holistically and they see things like this and they sit in the house and say, you know what, this guy is real, bro. I like that, let me join. It's the same thing. And it's the most important thing I want people to understand and I learned the hard way is essentially karma, fate, everything will sort itself out. You have to be present in your days. You have to because you don't know what's going to happen in the future. I don't know where I'm going to end up. No one knows. Did you honestly think a year ago you'd be right now in this position you would be? You honestly think five years ago the things you experienced you'll be in a position where now where you would where you are today no <laughs> because this is life and this is unpredictable and one day might be amazing another day might be amazing and the next thing you know six months down the line it's a fucking tantrum traumatic 
crazy experience no one can predict anything you cannot predict anything in the future all you can do is control yourself and find the vision of who you want to be and as i said before i can see who i want to be and i'm gonna work towards the everyday whilst being present so in short i don't worry about the future anymore because i know my grandma's up there <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. I know my grandma's up there and I know I'm a good person deep down in it. And I know I try my best to help and inspire people and I know I'm so happy. I miss the good vibes only and I will continue being myself and being a role model to try and help people and uplift them. And whatever comes from that comes from that. The rate, the pace I don't care about. You cannot control the future, so just enjoy the present whilst working towards the future. You cannot control the future. And that is why I'm not fearful about anything what's to come and I'm excited and shook because there's so many new things I want to try and so many new difficult positions I'm going to be in. And you know what, I relish it because I'm excited about the future. And I say to myself time and time again, What will be, will be. And when you hold that close to your heart and you live every day present, trust me, things will fall into place. Don't go out there trying to control the future. Don't go out there being scared. What's the next step? Don't get overwhelmed. Oh, by 25, 27, 30, I need to achieve this. No. I can say for myself, before I was like that, before I used to be shit scared, I used to be so... I used to be shook about the future and what was good to come. I was so scared because I didn't know where I'd end up, how much money we'll have, what would I do be doing, I'm going to be depressed, I'm going to... Shh. Shh. Meditation being a big part of that as well. What will be, will be. I try every single day to become better and that's seeing it. But I can honestly say, before I used to panic about the future 70%, I used to think about the future so many times where it would be every Wednesday going to see my first girlfriend and feeling like I'm going to vomit in the shower and literally sometimes throwing up with her there or my, my A-level is what am I going to get if I don't get a certain grade what's going to happen I didn't even do that well and I still ended up fine life after uni what's that going to entail what am I going to be doing am I going to be working there what am I going to I don't want to be doing Shh. what's the next step in it yeah relax if you've got anything on your mind now you can relate what do you want ask yourself the important questions what is the next step 70 percent 80 percent used to think about the future now i'm working towards the future a lot i'm working very hard for the future but am i thinking am i obsessing about where i'm going to be no i'm enjoying every single day 10 percent, 15 percent, and i'll tell you right now i'm so fucking happy <laughs> love it's getting cold i need to go in it and i can't even mom's was gonna are you like she uh you look and watch me in it whatever <laughs> life's beautiful man